Hello everyone and welcome back to Super Mario Galaxy. So today we are going to be um, finishing up the remaining levels in the um, kitchen. Last time we finished the Beach Bowl Galaxy, the Bowie Base, and the Bubble Breeze, and as well as the Big Mouth. So now we are going to be playing the Ghostly Galaxy. Another one of my favorites. It's very fitting since we're playing as a skeleton. So, Luigi in the Haunted Mansion is the level we're playing. So, this level we're tasked in rescuing Luigi. Yes. Alright, there's a toad over here. He'll say, we detected signs of Luigi in the galaxy. I hope he hasn't been eaten by ghosts. Uh, ghosts don't eat, stupid. Thought that was just fact. Thought people knew that. And there's a star in here. So, they're new. Um, anime is actually not entirely new. They're in Galaxy 2. They're jack of goombas You can um, basically... Either just spin them or just ground pound to break them and all that. And we want to get our invincibility star because there's a chain shop that comes out right here, so I used to get some star bits out of them. Alright, this song is pretty cool. It's actually called The Waltz of the Booze. There's a toad in that box. The ghosts hate the light! So, okay. You can, uh, spin these freaking uh, torches. And just like a lot of Mario games, the boos, um, if you don't look directly at them, they'll try and come at you. But then if you look at them, they won't come at you. So I don't know why boos have always been like that. It's weird. I literally remember this one video I saw. Um, talking about them, one guy was all, you're not asking Mario on a date, I mean, why are you so shy over here, it's weird. So that was pretty funny. So there's only a few ways to kill booze. Uh, one of the ways is with an invincibility star, and another way is with light, so you want to get him under this light, and kill that boo you get a coin so okay we want to lure this boo to us because he has a key inside of him so he shoved the key up his ass or something so we just need to get him to the light and then we'll get a key so I guess they enjoy shoving foreign objects up their ass for some reason yeah I didn't really burn myself so I'm going to turn my volume down. It seems like I have to do that almost every time. Okay, I don't want to do that. Okay, that's what I'd like to do. I'd like to extinguish the fire, please. Jeez. So this is one of the ways to kill them. I prefer ground pounding them. Um, just because this is a quick and fast kill, but, um, you can just, uh, spin the pumpkin shell off of them and then s jump on them or spin them like a normal Goomba, essentially, after that. So, we'd like to, we should s stay away from this black hole, then. Um, what do we need to find the star chips in this room? Maybe we just want to stay away from these black holes. Um, some people have said it's not always a good idea to basically ground pound the Goombas, the Jackal Goombas. Um, essentially because, as you saw right there, they have this thing they do with, um, fire, so you don't want to get burned. these thing little star bit dispensers that's cool I guess yeah. 
All right, so right there's Luigi. Kind of funny, you can just... He's saying Mama. I'm not Mario, I'm a skeleton. So, all right, we have to save this big baby. Um, uh, essentially. So that's how you do that. Uh, yeah, there's more booze. We just want to get them over to uh, the light. Alright, here's a sign. This is written in booish. So, hardly any way to read that, but um, you can just get that one up that way. Also, get it th this way. Um, I just want to show what the boom power up looks like. So, transform into Boo Mario, shake the vanish. So, for some reason, you can't turn into a skeleton in this form. But, um, just like Boo's, you want to, um,. Not to go in the light. Since this is written in booish, now we can read it. When in boo form, press A repeatedly to float. Shake your remote to turn transparent. You can go through bars. So that's pretty cool. Almost similar to um, the the vanish cap in Gal in that galaxy in Mario 64. Okay, so essentially, what we can do inside, he goes, a ghost, eek, and this boo is trying to be in love with us, which is weird. I'm just going to terrorize Luigi. I just think it's funny, but actually, what you need to do is just turn back into Mario. suck, Luigi. But oh, you finally came. I got lost with the toes. It was terrible. They made me, um, they made me play with phallic objects and they, they tried to get me to do cocaine. It's crazy. But I found the power star, so that helps, right? Yeah. Pulled it out of his butt. Thanks. Let's go home. This is pretty cool. Luigi will join you in the star animation. Oh, yeah. The star, Luigi in Lunar Mansion, goes to the yellow key. So one thing that's really weird and it's kind of funny is um, how I said you unlock Luigi through beating the game. You can actually rescue Luigi as Luigi. <laughs> I don't know why. It's so weird. It would make more sense if you were to rescue Mario, but it's just still Luigi. It's so weird. Welcome back. I can't see your brother from here. If you ask him, I bet he'll help you search for power stars. <laughs> and I'm sure he has a lot to tell you. You should go over to speak him and then find the garage. So we're gonna see what Luigi has to say. Look at this light first. Luigi's like, hey bro, you've been looking for power stars, right? Let me help. I think you might have missed one in the good egg galaxy. If I find it, I'll write you a letter. Keep your eyes peeled for it. So yeah, there is a um, hidden star in the good egg galaxy that I said there was like someone we needed to help us like later in the game. Essentially, um, later, after doing more stars, we will get a letter from Luigi and he'll just basically tell us, oh, um, I need your help. I'm in the good egg galaxy and stuff and we have to go find him and then he'll give us a star. And same thing with Honey Hive and Battle Rock also has a secret uh, star that Luigi needs our help with. There's three secret stars he can help you find. One in Good Egg, one in um, Honey Hive, and one in Battle Rock. So yeah, that's pretty interesting. Yeah, Battle Rock is another one with two secret hidden stars.
All right, uh, we're gonna need to. Okay, very spooky sprint. All right, so I don't remember which. I think the secret star is either in this level or the next level. We'll have to see, because you start off on a different planet before actually yes. going to the one we need to be. Brigade members haven't come back. What are they up to? Alright, so basically we can actually do the hidden level in this one, so basically there will be a secret, um, the, the little stalagmite thing is, gro is glowing, so take a launch star, take us to a secret hidden planet, and um, yeah, basically all we have to really do for this one is just um, follow the, um, the matter and stuff. And, okay, unlock that secret door. And I guess that, um, question mark will help move us. This level is kind of annoying, and I think speedrunners hate it, too, just because, you know, it takes forever. I can't even get all those star bits. Yeah, you can also spin booze to make them go another way. If you want. Thank you for the one coin. Very helpful. Okay, so now basically what we have to do is um, use this key to open one of the doors and it'll open up that for us. And then there's another key we have to activate. This key will just give us a coin. But uh, you can hear the star glowing, or shimmering, or whatever you want to call it. Um, so it's going to be in one of these doors. Okay, there's just a one up in there. Okay, it's going to be in one of these. Okay, there's a coin in there, there's uh, three coins in here, and we can't even get everything! Fucking shit, why? Why did they have to do that? Now we probably have to start the whole thing over again. Oh no, I don't, so... Um, I'm still gonna cut anyways, just because we don't want you guys to see a whole minute of me doing nothing. Alright, so there we go. There is our star. So, that's that. Just wanted to not press that button, just wanted to make it so that, um... Do that. And sometimes, literally, like the button, one of the buttons that turns down the volume or something is right next to my escape key. That's why I accidentally pressed that sometimes. 60 star bits, totally 60. Oh, we already have the letter from Luigi. Okay, might as well do that. So, you have a letter from Luigi! But oh, I got the star, but now I can't back. This picture shows where I am. Help me! From Luigi. Hmm, where is this place? It looks familiar, but then again, let me give you this picture so you won't forget where Luigi is. To view a picture, press minus or plus and access the plus screen, then use the letter icon to check the picture. Alright, so, um, remember I was saying that the pass the swim test was the easiest mission in the game? Well, the one I'm about to show you, this is the easiest. It literally takes, not even joking, 10 seconds. Like, literally around 10 seconds. So basically, we just have to go back to the Good Egg Galaxy, and Luigi's lost. So he is in the first mission. I'll literally show you in the intro cutscene where he is. Look, he's on top of the roof. I mean, come on, it's like a two foot drop, literally look. One, two, three, four, five, six, six, seven, eight, okay, eight, nine, ten. Okay, I keep fucking falling down, but whatever, you get the idea, if I did it right, 
then it literally takes like 10 seconds to do. Okay, you can get up there though, that way. Okay, there. Um, but yeah, it literally takes real quick. You came to save me again, new account of you, bro. Oh, the power star? Ah, I got it right here. So yeah, it literally takes like 10 or 11 seconds. I just kept fucking up the roof jump, but it's literally very easy. Yeah, it's literally the easiest mission in the game. Almost as easy as some of those Mario 64 stars, where all you have to do is freaking like speak to a toad, and then you'll get a damn um, star. Jeez, I don't know. Luigi can't be more of a baby. Alright, back to the ghostly galaxy. I'm gonna get this life under here first, though. So I think it does respawn after uh, getting a star. So, I mean, if you really wanted... Um, I don't think there's an infinite lives trick in this game, really. Um, but there's, like, a few, there's a few lives around um, the freaking observatory as it is um there's one in the garage there's one there and then there's there's one uh, there's a part where you get a power up that'll let you fly and you can get one that's on top of the observatory so yeah pretty much it's just how it works all right a very spooky sprint for doing this one again this star is also pretty easy. Doesn't take long either, so basically we'll just need to go to the next planet after this one. And then there'll be a ghost we have to race. And that's also pretty easy. It takes like a minute. Um I don't even know why they bother to give us the invincibility star, to be honest. Um, I guess it looks kind of cool and a little trippy in a way when you look at it that way. Alright. It's a go go Yikes, this looks scary. <laughs> so you're after two, will you have to race me for it? Sure. <laughs> Here we go. So essentially, you just have to use the pole stars to go through this way. And um, you can just do it really fast and everything. So it's not too bad. Even if you miss one or anything, then it's just uh, not a big deal, really. Everything. Because he, he moves pretty slowly, like we're already in first and everything. Um, yeah, even I almost went the wrong way, it's just pretty easy and everything. There's a rematch um, against him too at one point. But, um, yeah, you know, that's not too bad either. Ah, okay, no, I want to go this way, thank you. Come on. What is going on? No. This pole star, please, thank you. He fucking is gonna win, because the pole stars aren't working! I'm getting angry now, this is ridiculous. Okay. You have to do this level again, just because I said it was easy, and it is. The pulsars just aren't fucking cooperating with me. Yeah, and I know I lost. Stupid game. I get it. Yeah, and then you just die. It's the stupidest thing ever. And I was literally trying to do it, but the pulsars aren't working. So 
So I already did the race, so I'm just gonna cut, and you guys can see it in a second. Alright, finally we beat it. It literally took me longer than I thought it was going to. Um, it took me like six tries. It was freaking ridiculous. Hmm, 106, 3.66, huh? But I promise to take this. That was ridiculous. I thought that was an easier star, but I, whatever, I forgot. It can be annoying sometimes. I think of the rematch is actually easier. This one's kind of annoying and difficult. Okay, star number 40. New chapter's been added. Yes, we will definitely save. Mission of the Ghostly Galaxy. Beware of Boulder Geist. There. Um, no he wasn't actually. You don't have to save Luigi again. I don't know why they present it as if you have to. I think there's another star in here, yes. There's another chain shop, we definitely wanna use our star on him. Getting a lot of star bits over here. Yeah, some of them fell, but it's not a big deal. There's another toad in there. She acts as big bombos, and I guess I'm like, boom. Some new enemies, bombos, you gotta do is grab them by the tongue. And you can blow stuff up, you can blow up these Bowser statues. Uh, you coin in one of them, some star bits in another one. Coin in that one. Uh, probably another coin in this other one. Yeah, they tend to do that sometimes, which is really annoying. Uh, but you have some more star bits in there, and the uh, launch star is inside of this one. Yeah, you want to let go of them before they end up going off. Inevitably. So if you don't actually leave, uh, there's nothing over there, but we can actually just um, get some star bits of this block. So we can get nine out of there. Yeah. This shows a sort of 2D ish section. My worst nightmare sling pods, but at least you only have to use it for the tiniest bit. So I guess it's not that big of a deal. Um, but yeah, I guess there's only a couple of them that we have to worry about. 
<laughs> yeah, yeah, just, we just want to aim for the sling star. Some more statues we can actually we can blow this stuff up and then the coin and get a one up. Alright, some star chips over this way. in please appreciate that very much I go in this way or okay what's that even supposed to do I'm trying to go in through the ball and it's not even doing anything okay yay we have to do this planet again because for some fucking reason even take that long so I don't even really bother to cut but I don't know why it was just um, not even letting me in or anything. Keep what the heck. How am I supposed to escape that? hoping we could maybe um, get it that way. Okay, finally. Actually lets us do that this time. Up with that. I don't even know why they put this planet here. Like you go for it to, for you go to it for like 20 seconds and you just freaking leave. I don't know. But we don't need the six life shroom or anything. But if you guys remember in Boss Blitz Galaxy, this was Boulder Guys. So basically, he's exactly the same as in Galaxy 2. He'll throw rocks at you. Um, and a bomb boo. And you're gonna have to just um, hit hit him again with the bomb boo. And you can you can you can break these uh, rocks if you want. 
And he also sometimes will throw coins at you too, which will help, I guess. So, okay, you can grab a couple of ones. And now basically what you're going to want to do is um, just uh, walk up to him with uh, one of the bombs that spawn out of him. And then you're going to do that. And then um, he'll reform, and this time he'll get fists, and then you'll do it again, and he'll die. Alright, so yeah, he's gonna give us coins, even though for some reason, I mean. We already have full health, so we don't even need them. It's honestly best to try to hit him when he raises his hands. Uh, just because... Yeah, he just gains two new moves. He'll sort of smash you with both of his hands. He'll also do a punch move. And... Yeah, basically, he'll just throw the rocks at you. But if you end up hitting his hands, then it doesn't actually do any damage. It just makes his hands reform. Um, yeah, his hands, they end up getting hit twice, and then they will, um, come back, essentially. done. So, the comet is going to be a daredevil comet, so when we fight him again, should be soon. And I didn't get hit once at all, so if anything, that means we should do pretty good during the daredevil mission. I get four coins, 120 star bets for a total of 1,004. Yes, we'll save. And uh, real quick, um, I think uh, Luigi, he'll end up telling you you missed another star somewhere. And that's basically where you have to rescue him again. Uh, so I just want to see real quick. And not run into that. I just want to see real quick. We actually got a letter from somebody. Some of Princess Peach sent us a letter, even though when I already opened the game, she had sent us a letter anyway, so... I don't know, she's just sending us a letter again? For some reason? I don't know why. It's weird. Um, but anyway, we'll talk to Luigi. See what he has to say. I think Power Star is harder work than I thought, but I don't give my all. All universe will fall into Bowser's claws. So that's, I guess, that's all he says right now. But I believe at one point he will say, "Oh, you missed a star in the Honey Hive" or something like that. So we'll see about that. So we're gonna go back to the kitchen and. Uh, I don't know if there's a comet in, um, if the comet in Ghostly Galaxy spawned yet, um, we'll see. I meant to do that. I didn't actually. Um, but yeah, we'll get back to it. Let's see real quick. I didn't really look at the map and see or anything. But yes, okay, there's a comet here.
Boulder Ghost Daredevil Run. So we just uh, rematch against them again. Except this time we're not allowed to take any hits. So essentially the same because we didn't even take any hits during the original fight. Literally 30 seconds ago. So I'd imagine this fight will play out the exact same. He's gonna throw rocks at us, but this time, obviously, since it's a daredevil run, he does not give us coins. Okay, we want to get the star best first. Okay. Sometimes the way he moves is really annoying, but other than that, it's not too bad when he's moving around with his weak spot, I guess. I, I remember, I don't even know if he did, but I just heard something about um, in the Boss Blitz Galaxy. Um, that the boulder ghost, he ends up being different. I had, in Galaxy 2, I had heard something about, like, he doesn't try to punch you or something. I had heard that, but I don't even remember. Maybe in the uh, original episode that I did, maybe he did try to. I just don't really remember since it was a little while ago. Yeah, for some reason, it's also annoying. He can also get rid of the bomb booze. So, it's slightly annoying. Take that bamboo before he can crush it. I just need a couple more hits. High four! Okay, we hit one of his hands, not really a big deal, it's just annoying, because... But I guess now we can hit him from the other side, so it... be as bad. Or not. Let's fuck that up. Yeah, but he makes his hands come back. Though, um, After we break him. But yeah, he's doing that, so okay, there we go. Let me get the star of this real quick. I feel like we should have done something harder than the Daredevil run, because I literally first try on both times, I didn't get hit at all either time with him. So I literally ended up doing a Daredevil run the first time when it wasn't even a Daredevil run. You know, it's. I've heard people call him the easiest boss in the game, but I don't think he's the easiest. I think he's, the e he's easy. I just don't think he's the easiest one in the whole game. I would give that to Dino Piranha. Because I think you can beat him in like 15 seconds. So, pretty easy for him. He will save, and now we are going to fight uh, the next Bowser Jr. Let's see if there's anything over here. I just wanted to check real quick and see if there's... You can also look at the list and stuff and it'll show you... You can also look at your best times on here. I'm um, surfing 101, 102, uh, very spooky sprint 103, so... 
Yep. All right, so Bowser Jr.'s airship armada. Sinking the airships. I like this level actually, it's pretty fun, and the, the Bowser Jr. level along with it is pretty cool too. I like it. The fight, I mean, is pretty cool. But it's just sort of, you, kind of like a gauntlet in a way, there's just lots of enemies on each ship and everything. They didn't put very reliable enemies though, I mean, honestly. Like, Lily, this one, like, will run away from me. It's like fucking scared of me there, I guess. not what we want to aim for, so we'll just do this again. I'm not even going to bother to kill the enemies this time. Killed one, but I wasn't trying to. What we're actually supposed to do is aim for the pole star, or aim for the flagpole, whichever, but I... I prefer aiming for the pole star. One of my the things I don't get is I don't know how or what or I mean why this level is called um, sinking the airships, even though we don't actually sink them, we just go on them and go to the next one. I just don't know why they call it sinking the airships when we don't even do that. I didn't know that, I guess you can actually ground pound on fucking uh, Wigglers. Speaking of Wigglers, I remember there's this weird tweet. Um, Mario, you finally made it! I was starting to worry where... Uh, this weird tweet where... You can look it up, it's literally... Uh, Nintendo, what they ended up saying was they meant to tweet, um... Ha Mario hates Wigglers, hashtag Wiggler Wednesday. But, um, they accidentally put, like, Mario hates Wiggers. <laughs> Hashtag Wigger Wednesday. And apparently, Wigger, what that means is, like, white and word, so, like, a white guy pre pretending to be black, I think. Like, I've, heard, I've never really heard that term used. I didn't really Google it, and that's what it means, supposedly. Um, yeah, it's a bit of a weird term, I guess. I've just never heard anybody be like, are you Wigger? You know? Okay, that failed. I shouldn't have jumped on that guy, but I've just never really heard anybody say that. Okay, I guess we're doing this area again then. You get across the platform. Alright, the level's kind of short, it didn't take too long. We're already at the Bowser Jr. fight. You just don't give up. Fine then, I guess I'll just whoop you myself. You want this Grand Star so bad, you're gonna have to take it from me. Alright, so basically, with Bowser Jr., what you need to do is um, there'll be Koopas and. Um, you just want to take the Koopas, not fucking get hit, I'm trying to talk, thank you. I think there's coins in these boxes. Not. Okay, what the heck, I jumped on that, come on. Sometimes this makes it not even clear. And I have to go all the way back here, that makes no sense. 
Hey, this time we go. All right, then we're back to the fights. Make sure this is actually still recording. Sometimes I just make sure to the time actually. Yeah, I did not need to take a screenshot. I meant to just full screen. So, yeah, so second hit. I don't remember any hits he takes. Um, so far we did two. Okay, what? I was trying to jump on him, but I guess that works too. Okay, that's just sailed right over it. Um, that I think three hits. There we go. Okay, so he takes three hits and then he'll get mad. Um, okay, I want to get some coins. I think there's, there's a couple over here. Okay, four hits. It might take six to beat him. To be honest. Okay, no, I'm trying. Let's. Okay, I'm trying to lure these things away. I mean, come on. Yeah, I need to. Give him these boxes and this coin and Goomba, so we get the coin over him. Get them to five. Okay, you only need, I think you only need to do five hits on him. Turn the beacon more of an aqua bluish color. And it tells us how many grand stars we got. So currently we have four with two more left. Alright, now we've unlocked the bedroom. Ooh, steamy. Gonna have sex with Rosalina in the bedroom. We discovered more than one new galaxy. We discovered five. <laughs> Thanks to you and your friends, all the domes on the lower level are working again. Once the engine room on the upper level has power, the whole observatory will be working. Then the comm observatory will fly as a starship once again. You'll be able to fly to your special one in the center of the universe. Alright, let's see if there's any okay, no letters from Toad. It's funny because I guess they don't expect you to do get all the stars because I'll end up getting that was a weird noise, I ended up trying to burp but um ended up um getting I, they don't, I guess they don't expect you to like get every single star or something because I always do it and then it's just like the second I enter it's like you can already fight Bowser, you know? And in base spot, we're checking massive energy spikes. What are they doing there? So literally, we could already fight Bowser if we wanted. And the biggest amount you need is 33, and we have 10 more than that. So I want to do this one-star galaxy first. The Honey Climb Galaxy. Scaling the sticky wall. Are we gonna scale Mario's wall? It has freaking sperm all over it. Nasty. Alright, so we have the bee suit again. I think it just looks funny, a skeleton with wings. Thank you. 
All right. Uh, this level is pretty easy. All you have to do is pretty much just do exactly as it says. Just climb up the wall and everything. That's freaking like all you do in this level. Star over here, that's kind of cool. Alright, I guess they try to throw asteroids in the mix to make it a little harder, but as long as we time it correctly, um, they don't pose much of a threat, really. Yeah, they don't pose much of a threat. As long as I time it correctly, which I, which I didn't. But yeah, this is a pretty small galaxy. Oh, come on. Literally, I thought I touched that. That's stupid. Oh. Yeah. Hey, sure. Is it this one friend who... I think his mom didn't let him swear or something, so instead of um, saying ass, he'd be like, I'm gonna kick your asteroid. And he said that to me once, and I was just, what are you fucking talking about? <laughs> I just didn't understand what he was trying to say. Sort of reminds me of how freaking in regular, not a regular show, in um, Diary of a Kid, how they had like this weird freaking made up language for, for cursing, and I just remember. Once, like, Roderick went to, said to Greg, he's like, Spooky Stork. <laughs> and I, it was just so freaking weird. And I think another one that he said, like, once, um, he was like, like, Ploopy or something with some swear. <laughs> I think another time Greg, like, he forgot to switch over, um, from, from, like, home fake swearing to real swearing at school, and he was like, Raspberry Plastic Tickle Bear! I just remember him saying that, it was so freaking weird. I think that was in the last straw, I don't really remember. I don't remember what Plooky means, like... Probably means like fuck or something, I have no idea. Spooky Stork. I'm gonna start saying Spooky Stork to people when I'm... And we always be like spooky stork. <laughs> it's just so goofy. I don't even really read the Hair Wimpy Kid anymore, mainly just because um, I, do, I don't remember the last one I read. Um, but mainly just because some of the newer books just weren't. They were. They were. They're kind of good. It's sort of sort of like modern SpongeBob, you know. Like some of the newer seasons are like okay and stuff. They range from. Yeah, that's ridiculous. I fell all the way down. They range from okay to good. They just aren't, you know, like, they just aren't, um, freaking, like, graveyard shift good, or chocolate with nuts good, or fucking, I don't know, the Christmas episode good. They're, they're, they're okay and passable, which is not as bad as, like, season six and seven, where one of them literally had, like, the episode of the Splinter, fucking, um, Fucking trying to think. Um, that episode is like National No SpongeBob Day. Um, I didn't like that one very much. 
Yeah, it's just like it went. The show went from really good to like okay in season four to bad, and then just back to decent again, I guess. <laughs> This will save. I don't even remember which galaxies there are right now. Cause I wanna, I wanna try to see if I can do one of the shorter mission. The Gusty Garden, Freeze Flame. And then the Dusty Dune. I guess we'll just do Gusty. I guess we'll do a level in Gusty Garden. I think the the first level with the boss doesn't take too long, but it might go... It might end up going a little bit over an hour. Doesn't matter. Bunnies in the wind. I don't remember if this is the level with the boss. I don't think so, actually. I think we just have to get to this other planet. I really, I really like the music in this galaxy, honestly. So basically, just um, to use this, we just have to essentially just fly, and we can spin to um, make it go further. And everything. Trying to sort of do this level quickly. Um, just because, you know, we don't want to run out of time and everything. Just because I don't want to have a level the episode be like an hour and ten minutes long or something. I don't know if we think we wouldn't actually end up getting to um, planet. Yeah, a lot of the time you have to freaking kill. A, I don't even know why it's so specific. It's like you have to kill a freaking red piranha plant, and then you get um, the vine that lets you go on. It's weird. Also, for some reason, when you kill the big piranha plants and you, you stomp on them, for some weird reason, it doesn't give you a coin, even though if you stomp on any other enemy, you do get a coin. So I don't know why it does it that way. To be honest, I guess it just does. But okay, I think this is. I think this is the last planet. So basically, now all we have to do is just catch this rabbit. Did you catch me, boy? Okay, all we have to do is just freaking catch this dude. What? How did I get? What? It doesn't make sense. Okay, which way did he even go now? Okay, there he is. No, I don't want to backflip. I would like the long jump, please. Thank you. Okay, I got him. So, alright. Okay, okay, you got me. Take this.
Who would expect to catch me so easily next time? So I hope you guys have enjoyed this episode of Super Mario Galaxy. So I will see you guys next time.